All right, in this next video, let's go ahead and review our design phase. Okay. Now you'll notice that the preparations are done or the proposals are done and they look very nice. We've got some minor tweaking to do here. Um, but let's take a look at what we have all of this stuff that's going on. Once again, our tools are permanently open. Well, I can right click to get the tool menu um, or I can left click and hit the tool icon and this now stays open and I can scroll up and down. You can set this to whatever your preference is and adjust it to your needs, wider, smaller. And again, every time you come back here, it will remember those settings. Okay. So I like to have my analyzing tools on on the left side. I like to have my tools on the right side. I like to have the display objects over here. You may choose something different. But I like to be able to quickly turn stuff off and on. And then I can go ahead and review uh, that you know how everything is looking by clicking this stuff off and on and instead of again the circles we have the slider bars that change the transparency we have the same thing here with the analyzing tools again I can set this big or small uh, the one new analyzing tool that we do have everything else is the same as before we have our contacts that we can turn on and off we have our model contacts that we can turn on and off we can make our model black and white or color uh, we can change the restoration colors uh, and adjust the shade. There's a little bit of a subtle shading more towards the cervical here. Um, we can turn our model box on and off. By having the model box off, we're able to look at this uh, preparation from underneath. We have our slice window. And the slice window is slightly different in that when you slice, uh, you have these arrows and then you can drag uh, in whatever direction that you want to go through with those specific arrows. So it's a slightly different way to view, but essentially it's the same uh, concept as before. We have our cursor details, and our cursor details give us the restoration information. Um, one nice thing, which is really helpful on anteriors, it tells you the width of the restoration, it tells you the length of the restoration, it tells you the height of the restoration. So imagine when you're doing an anterior tooth and you've got two central incisors that you need to make symmetrical. This tells you the size of those restorations. And the previous version, we had to hit Control G to get our grid mode. Now we have our grid mode that we can turn on and off. So those are our analyzing tools with regards to the software in the design mode. If we look at our tools, the tools are essentially the same. Um, we have the form tool, and once again, the, the tools are available to us. They don't toggle off and on. I can adjust the size. I can adjust the strength. And then anytime I'm working on multiple restorations, I can hide my neighbor. This applies to the form tool. It applies to the shape tool. So when I hide my neighbor, if I want to use the form tool, and let's say I want to smooth this area out in approximately, I can smooth it out, and the neighbor is not in the way. Okay? So from here, what we'll do is we'll go to our move tool. And our move tool is, again, is the same as before. And what we have the ability to do is go to the position and rotate and the scale. And again, the scale tool is slightly different. I can scale the whole thing in the middle. I can drag a portion of this restoration back and forth. Okay. So it's a slightly different way of adjusting this, the size of the restoration, but it's more intuitive because these handles serve to get us, uh, give us the ability to uh, adjust the size of the restoration as needed. We have our shape tool, and once again, we have our anatomical and our circular. The, the tools haven't changed from the past. We can adjust the size on the circular, and again, we can use that hide neighbor feature. We have biogeneric variation. Biogeneric variation, remember, changes the anatomy of the tooth. So what I found is while the tool is the same, I found the results to, to work much better than in previous versions. And what we have is the ability to change the anatomy so that we're not necessarily copying the adjacent teeth, but we can change it to whatever size or, or whatever shape that we want to. Okay. We have our recalculate button. Now you'll notice that we don't have an unadapted recalculate. That unadapted recalculate has been replaced by this icon here called the bio jaw. The bio jaw essentially does the same thing. It's our pre-positioning tool. Now, you'll also notice that when I'm working on multiple restorations, 
uh, you can whatever tooth you're working on gets changed by these icons so we can change the position I can change the size and then I move forward this is now the new pre positioning tool or the unadapted recalculate tool it's replaced with BioJaw. there's gonna be a series of videos on this on the website which will go into much more detail on how BioJaw actually works now with regards to the tools one thing that's important to note is when we're working on multiple teeth for example let's say I've got the form tool okay and on the form tool I'm going to be adjusting this area here just a little bit and then I want to switch over to the other tooth notice that I don't have to click on each tooth it automatically adjusts to each individual tooth okay so that becomes very helpful and if I want to I can lock a specific tooth okay this tooth is now locked and so it doesn't switch back and forth so it stays there and I can use whatever tools that I want to okay so I can lock and unlock uh, any tooth that I want to so that I don't have that going back and forth let's turn that off let's go back to let's just say the move tool I can move this tool and then when I click my arrow here it automatically moves over so some nice new features in the design phase we can move our display objects our tools and our analyzing tools the windows stay open we can adjust the size of the windows to whatever size that we want to uh, and then there's no clicking in between the different teeth so that we have to actually click on the tooth to activate the tool it gets activated automatically